Yeah, you are you are good in building it. It's about three hours. Yeah, uh, for for some students maybe a bit longer, maybe four to six hours. Yeah. <coughs> and we continue now. Okay, this is our project. Last year I was in Fort Asia, uh, Cambodia, and then that this is the first uh, first prototype of our machine. And then yeah, and then you can see the student which was very interesting about it. And then about tiny boy was tiny boy. This is a, uh, our our project was start in 2011. And then it was started by teacher Park Kala, and I actually he is now sitting there in the grand fashion. And then um, our target to build a three D is a small, easy to build and affordable for the student because we want to use it as a teaching. And then actually the project is currently supported by Hong Kong Creative Open Source. Uh, open Technology Association, which is a non-profit tax organization in Hong Kong. And then I'm the vice chairman of that all of the group. Um, then this is what currently our project do in this group. And then you could see that this is the computer room. And then every computer has a one 3D printing machine. This is what we are doing on it. And then how to assemble it, and then we just use this kind of laser cutter to assemble it uh, to cut the, cut, the, cut the layout, cut the shape, cut the paste, and then cut all the parts into there, and then just like this, these are the other parts. And then okay, use FDM using PLA, and then this is the size, 15, 15 times uh, 22. And then the paint size is this and this and this and this. And then the cocoa cost is about 300 each. Not to use gold. This is the price in 2015. And then the design now is open and under a creative uh, CCSA license. And then you can find it in here. That's uh, all the design. And then after the Forge Asia last year, and then we find that, okay, uh, when we go to the trip and then to demo, and then we, when we do some workshop, we find that there's some problem for the student to, to, to really assemble on it. And then we have some improvement. This is the second version. And then uh, have been modified to use less parts to it. And then, but that's still not enough, so that we have the third version, which is now uh, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the table that you can see uh, after this talk, uh, then you can go inside to, 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 to see, uh, to, to take a look. And then this is the workshop in Macau. In Macau, we do some workshop that's uh, funded by the government. And then uh, they have, uh, this is a summer workshop last year. And then uh, for the students, they, when they are in summer holiday, they can learn something new. The technology was in Kosan Road, this is uh, in Macau. And then you can, uh, yeah. And then this is the other workshop that's in a primary school uh, to teach the students how to paint, how to draw their 3D models. And then to use, uh, after drawing it, and use the 3D printer to paint it out. Why we have, well, what, uh, at, at the first you can see why the classroom has so many 3D because the student, they when when they learn how to draw the 3D models, they very easy to lose interest if you cannot see the real things. And then so that uh, when you and when you don't you know that when you do some when you use a 3D printer to paint the model, it will take ages, maybe one hour or two hours. If you just have one big machine, that's not enough for them. Okay, the the, the children will be arguing. <coughs> I have I first, I go first, I go first, and then, and then after that, if you don't give them the model, then they will totally lose interest, and they, they will don't listen to the teachers to teach about the new things anymore. Yeah, so that, that's why we have uh, to design a small project, small printer, to make the student uh, to learn more about it. 
Yeah, and then this is the other workshop in Hong Kong. I think it's a, a secondary school. Yeah, and then yeah, you can see the student is much uh, larger. The age is much larger, and then they know how to, they are learning how to assemble on it. And then we also last year we have do some seminar. This is the Hong Kong seminars about um, future 3D technology. And then uh, this is Parker. And then we go to last uh, open source conference and then I have a workshop to talk about what uh, how to how to build your own 3D printer. And then this is the other seminar. And then this here is the Macau Barcamp, the Barcamp Macau. And then this is the course cup, the Taiwan course cup. And then this is about uh, 1,000 people in there to listen. Yeah, how, how, what is the project going to so, And then we have also live show. And then to see uh, uh, what's going on on our project. Yeah, all the material, yeah. So we can now buy this 
Uh, we cannot because uh, we, uh, we we would like to put it on the market, okay. but the problem is that we are facing the problem is the mass production problem. Yeah, we, we have to find out each factory by each factory to talk. Okay, you have to give some stock to me, something like that. And then actually we find that the, actually the basic cost is 300, so that if you want to buy from us, maybe input the shipping, input a, a running cost of our organization, maybe that behind, maybe 400 to 500. So uh, what is the kind of, uh, sorry, what is the kind of optimization you're looking for when it comes to design? Oh. Uh, optimization is still step the steps. Yeah, because uh, we have cut down so many steps uh, so that for the student they will quite a bit easy to do it. But we still face the problem is that some kind of the parts uh, is still quite complicated for them to understand what's going on. If uh, they, they're not familiar with uh, to use the screw, if uh, for the agaric, uh, agaric uh, plastic, they will be easy to crack. If they don't know how to use the screw, yeah, that, that's that's the problem we are still facing when we when we uh, doing some workshops in the secondary school in the low form, yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Any questions? Any more? No, that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe we could see the other. I think that's so cool.